just not good. And I guess that's why Elon Musk and all these AI leaders, leaders in artificial intelligence are worried about um, the advancement of artificial intelligence, specifically these um, Chagas, Ch Chat, what is it called? Chat GPT or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they're worried about that, right? So it's, it's, a, it's a bunch of like real pioneers in the field too with Musk, which is probably a weird meeting when they meet up because you know the other ones are a little, they're a little, uh, they've been talking behind Elon Musk's back a little bit. Mm -hmm. When Elon Musk and Steve Wozniak got together for this, you know, Steve before was like, I'm going to meet this fucking psycho, this Texas libertarian psycho <laughs> who's tweeting at disabled employees and shit. And then they meet up like, oh, Elon, good to see you. <laughs> like, this guy's having a midlife crisis or whatever. So in an open letter signed by Elon Musk and like I had the previously mentioned Steve Wozniak and um, a bunch of others, um, they want a six-month pause. So are they? did they approach Congress with this or what are they doing? Yeah, because I think their goal is to have it researched. They want to research the effects on this. Well, let me tell you something right now. The math ain't looking good as the American IQ uh, is down, is very down. Again, in, in, uh, the sky's also blue. It bears repeating. <laughs> so IQ scores in the U.S. have fallen for the first time in decades. I didn't notice. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they are blaming technology, ironically. The thing that could make you instantly smarter, they're blaming. TikTok? They're blaming all of technology because apparently they think, and they've, I guess they have studies on this, um, where it's made everything so easy that we're not engaging the, um, you know, our, uh, the higher levels of our neocortex or whatever, our frontal lobe, because it's being done for us. So um, the researchers set out to determine whether or not the Flynn effect. So the study was published by the uh, Journal Intelligence, the Journal Intelligence this month, it indicated that IQ levels had lowered, especially for those with less education in the 18 to 22 age group. Do we need IQ as a study that, like, what if they're getting smarter though well with technology? They're smarter at doing TikToks. They're smarter at editing. I mean, if you measure the IQ level of editing, every kid knows how to edit. They're smarter at uh, attention retention, you know, getting you to engage with something, looking at it for longer, yeah. you know, so you just bend over and you split your cheeks and you got a million likes right there. <laughs> They're better at that. Mm -hmm. They're better at telling you what to do yeah. mm -hmm. and what to think. Telling That's a skill. You're on notice. Telling you you're on notice. Mm -hmm. They put people. They don't put people. They don't people put people on notice. <laughs> they know how to create themselves into a brand. They know how to take their affinity for squash pasta and turn themselves <laughs> into a alternative eating influencer Instagram page. Right. So. I mean, wh I, what is IQ? IQ was probably invented at a time where it was more like measured by what? Math aptitude or science aptitude or whatever. Did you, you know? ever take an IQ test? Yeah, I don't think I did very good. <laughs> I don't think I did very good, but I don't know if I ever did. Did you? No, no. I don't want to, I don't want to know. Yeah, I think the average is a hundo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I think mine looked more like a female <laughs> uh, Division One college basketball game score. Mm -hmm. I think it ended in the, I think the score was 56-53. Yeah, you, you thought it was the age that you're supposed to get a colonoscopy. That's right. It was like, an, it, it, was a, it looked like a recommendation from the CDC on when to get fucking cracked open and cleaned out in your asshole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think I hit 100. And then like supposedly the geniuses are like 120, 130. I I, yeah. But here's the deal, dude. I do make a decent point. I mean, IQ is a test that was invented at a time it obviously has some relevancy, but does it really now? No. They'd have to amend it, right? Because like Albert Einstein could be, uh, he'd be like, oh, I can tell you, you're like, I don't need to, it's already, why would I need to know how this works? Yeah. It, I have it. So like, if I want to be a uh, surviving member of society, I'm not going to waste my time learning how to fucking figure out how this works. I'm going to fucking exactly. get ready. Yeah. I don't need to know how gravity works, dude. I just want some tacos. Yeah. I mean, you know, fucking Barbara Streisand doesn't need to know how the camera works. She just goes side pose, gets the nose and blows for the gaze. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Madonna doesn't need to go to fucking to, to MIT to learn how to Vogue. Strike a pose. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Usher don't need to go to Dartmouth to code. 
There's three eggheads that need to know how to do this shit. Yeah. And then you got to go, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's up, everybody? I'm going to be in Stanford, Connecticut, April 7th through the 9th. That's it. <laughs> Which is true. April 7th through the 9th, Stanford, Connecticut. Get your tickets. GiannisPappasComedy.com. Eighth. I think I've been saying that wrong a lot. <laughs> Let's see the last one I posted. You know what? I yeah. think IQ matters because he didn't have to focus on the phone and he fucked that shit up. Yeah, I just posted the video. It says April 7th through 9th. He fucked his own dates up and he didn't have to focus on how the phone works. I think we do need IQ. <sighs> it's all right, dog. Oh, man. I just, hopefully it's just not, you know, early alls. I don't want to fucking get the Bruce Willis. Come on, man. By you the way, the yeah, his tooth is gone. What happened to that? You saw his tooth? Yes, he's missing a tooth too. Yeah. I don't know, dude. That birthday video was like wild. It was, it was, it was like, it's my birthday. Yeah. My mom had it. Um, here's the deal. The silver lining of it is much less anxiety when you don't know what's going on. So <laughs> my mom was a really anxious woman and boy, was she calm towards the end, except that night when she was sundowning and she was like, where am I? But that was only from the hours of six till during the day. She was pleasant. She was smiling. She was happy. You go, hey, mom, what do you think about the potential world war between the, uh, the alliance that's forming between Russia, China, uh, and Iran, and the United States and NATO? And she would go, hi. <laughs> She'd just give you an immigrant smile and look at you, who are you? Um, she was in a good place. Mm -hmm. Ignorance truly is bliss. The She's more you know, the, the more you wish you didn't. Good during the day, bad at night. Yeah, basically.